In this group of videos, we're going to learn all about the financial statements. And we're going to start by talking about the balance sheet. If you want to understand the balance sheet, you're going to need to understand three terms. You're going to need to understand assets. You'll need to understand liabilities. And the final term, and this is the trickiest of the three, you're going to need to understand the term shareholders equity. So let's begin with assets. And if you have pretty good knowledge of the English language, you've probably got a decent idea as to what an asset is. In fact, when I begin my classes and, you know, first class ever in accounting, uh, I ask students to tell me about assets that they have. I tell, I ask them to say, okay, what are some assets that you've got? And I get lots of examples, you know, no shortage of, of student suggestions here. Uh, one of the examples I commonly get is something like headphones. You know, they just look around, they, they look in the round and they have, you know, a nice set of headphones or maybe they've got a, a cell phone that's rectangle is supposed to be a cell phone. Maybe some others look around and they see all the textbooks in the room and they say, yeah, those are assets. And uh, I'd agree with them. These are good examples of assets. Um, and what do these have in common? What makes an asset? Uh, because those are assets that a person might have. What makes for an asset that a company has? Because we're typically doing company accounting. Uh, and the key word I'd like you to associate with assets, the key word I'd like you to think about is these are things of value. Now, if you read an accounting textbook, they'll always use this phrase. Assets are something that the company controls, that the owner control, really, that gives the company a future economic benefit. But when we're just starting, here's what I want you to think. I want you to think there anything the company owns or controls that is good to own or control. That is anything the company has that's good to have. So, you know, headphones and books and and and. Uh, uh, cell phones would all be good examples of, of things that you'd own that you should want to own. Well, what about on a company's balance sheet? What are typical assets that we find? Well, some common ones are, well, the, the most common one or the one that you definitely want to see is cash. Cash is a very important asset that almost all companies will have because, of course, money is something that you can own and control and it's good to have, very good to have. Uh, another example is something called accounts receivable. Ooh, my writing is bad. Accounts receivable. And accounts receivable is just when you are owed money by somebody else. That is an asset. Inventory, if you walk around a Walmart or a retailer, you can see they've got a bunch of stuff sitting around for the customer to buy. These are assets of the company. They're stuff that Walmart owns all that inventory. Uh, and it's good stuff to own. Uh, and of course, we have longer term assets like equipment and buildings and things like that. You know, so if a company owns, uh, you know, uh, if you're in a university right now and the, the prof is using a computer at the front of the class, that computer is uh, an asset of uh, the university, most likely. Uh, so any piece of equipment that a company owns is also an asset and just as you know, if you own some equipment, uh, like your cell phone, I would call that equipment. Uh, if you own that, that is your asset. So again, assets are things of value to a company. The technical definition, again, is anything the company controls that creates a future economic benefit for the company. Moving over to liabilities, if my one word for asset is value, my one word for liability is O. Oh. So liabilities are owed. They're things that must be paid back. So again, if you're thinking of liabilities in your own life, maybe you're a student and you have student loans, those are liabilities. Student loans are liabilities. I have an unpaid phone bill sitting on my counter. I owe the phone company money from that phone bill. That's a liability. I also have a big mortgage on my house. I have a debt on my house. That's a liability. These are all things that we can owe. So, uh, you know, in, in technical terms or in um, business terms, they wouldn't call it like phone bill. They would call it accounts payable. So any unpaid bill is called an account payable. 
Uh, and of course, we can have things like bank loans and mortgages and all sorts of things like that. Um, the technical definition for liability is any future obligation. So uh, with asset, we said the technical definition was a future economic benefit. A liability is a future economic uh, obligation. It's something that you have to pay back at some point in the future. Uh, moving over to the third, and certainly I, I said the trickiest of the three, and I, I believe it. Um, the way I like to discuss shareholders' equity is I actually explain my house and my home equity, and that kind of gets us to the concept of equity. So I own a house, and, you know, it's not a mansion. It's a pretty small house in uh, the town of Kamloops in Canada. And when I bought the house, uh, I had to pay $300,000 for this house. So I have a $300,000 house. And you would correctly say that that, I hope you would correctly say that that's an asset. That's nothing to do with equity. That $300,000 house is an asset. And it is indeed a $300,000 asset. Now, when I bought the house, I did not have $300,000 cash sitting around. I don't know too many people who do. I certainly did not. So what did I do? I did what most people do when they buy a house. I took out a mortgage. And a mortgage, of course, is a liability. And my mortgage was $250,000. So I put $50,000 down on the house and the rest was, was in the form of a mortgage. So if you looked at this situation, you said, oh, Tony Bell has a $300,000 house with a $250,000 mortgage, you might say, how much of that house does he actually own? If he were to sell the house today and recoup the $300,000, how much money would he walk away with? How much money would I walk away with? Well, in that scenario, if I sold the house, I got $300,000 cash, my mortgage company wouldn't let me walk with $300,000. They'd say, hey, we're gonna take our 250 now. So how much money do I walk with? I walk with my equity in the house and my equity in the house is $50,000. That's my piece of the pie. That's how much of the house I own. So the formula here is pretty simple. This is called the accounting equation. And the formula is assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity. So in the case of my house, I have a $300,000 house, 250 in debt. My piece of the house is just $50,000. And the same is true for companies. In a company, assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity. We could also put that a different way. We could say uh, shareholders equity equals assets minus liabilities, right? After you've used your assets, paid off all your debts, how much money goes into the shareholder's pocket, that is their equity. So I'll put that in a little squiggly line to say that's something important to remember, that relationship, right? Um, so what are my accounts here? The two uh, accounts I'd twig you to, there's more than this, but two common ones you'll see are common shares. You'll also see something called share capital on some balance sheets. It's just when you buy stock in a company. You put money in, your piece of the company gets bigger, you get shares back. That is uh, an equity type of account. You know, the fact that the company issues you shares as a shareholder. So common shares is something you commonly see under shareholders equity. And the second one is called retained earnings. And when the company makes profits, when the company makes money, that makes the shareholders piece of the pie get bigger. The account that keeps track of how much money the company has been making and keeping within the company is called retained earnings. And again, we'll learn more about that. We do a whole video called the statement of retained earnings video, and that's coming up a little later. Okay, so kind of to summarize here, we got assets, the things we own or control that are good to own or control. Liabilities, that's what we owe. Shareholders equity, that's the shareholders or the owner's piece of the pie, the owner's piece of the company. So <clears throat> we haven't really talked about balance sheet, but a balance sheet just lists all of these things. List your assets, list your liabilities, list your shareholders equity. And what we find is the balance sheet looks almost like this equation. A equals L plus SE. In fact, I've, I've done a quick example down here. ABC Company balance sheet for December 31st, 2017. We've got our assets on the left, cash accounts, receivable equipment. You can see the total there, 40,000 uh, bucks. Liabilities of 25, shareholders equity of 15, 25 plus 15 
is 40,000 bucks. And you can see at the bottom, assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity. Now, really important to note here, um, yes, the balance sheet balances, that's great. And you know, the, the two numbers match, but you can learn a lot about a company. You can say, oh, do we have enough money, cash to pay our bills, you know, or do we have enough short-term assets, cash and receivables to cover our bills? Um, you can learn about a company's financial position and how they're doing by looking at their balance sheet. And this is a simple version, right? Because this is likely the first time you're seeing a balance sheet or you know, you're know you just learning about a balance sheet if you're watching this video. But if you wanna see a real company's balance sheet, just Google your favorite company. You know, If you're interested in Nike and sports equipment and stuff like that, Google Nike balance sheet. Just search for Nike balance sheet. If you're interested in uh, technology, maybe search for Apple or Amazon or, or Google or Microsoft. Search for their balance sheet and you can learn a lot about a company's financial position by looking at the balance sheet and looking at the stuff they own and control, their assets, the stuff they owe, and the owner's piece of the pie, the shareholders equity. So there we have it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Stay tuned for, to our next video where we're going to talk about the income statement. Bye for now.